Oh. You coming in close? Oh, cool. OK. We see? Awesome. Do you want to move the tripod up? or? OK. So bon bon. What I will do is I'm going to withdraw the plunger about one centimeter. So now you can see, uh, where are you? OK. Now you can see that there's air space between the plunger and the calcium sulfate. So with it vertical, you're gonna, we're doing it Amos's way. We're going to take the syringe of sterile saline. He uses anesthetic. Hold on. I'm just grabbing gauze. And you're going to very slowly fill up the entire way with liquid till it's all the way to the top. It's on autofocus. There we go. OK, once you have it, you're going to take your piece of gauze, put it over the top, and just squeeze the excess water into the gauze. And again, you'll generally get within a millimeter or so of that mark. Take your sight, squirt it in the hole. It is really, truthfully, as easy as that. Your spatula and carve it down to approximately a half a millimeter below the level of the gingival margin. The reason you want it slightly below the gingival margin is you want to have room for the body to epithelialize over the top. And in the mouth, that's how long it takes. You have and you can feel it with the back of your instrument. You probably have another 30 to 45 seconds working time. If the material is wet and it doesn't seem to be setting right away, just take gauze and place it over it. There it is.